Welcome to Build, I'm Will Best, and we're live from London, where today I'm joined by a man who is the go-to car customizer for the rich and famous, rocks up to the studio in a Lamborghini, and is back with series two of his own TV show, Yanni Supercar Customizer. So please welcome Yanni Cheryl Ambers. Hello, mate. Yeah, good, good, good. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are Excellent. you? Hi, yeah, everyone. Very, very welcome. Great to have you. Great to have you on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me. I'm a bit worried, though, that it's not glamorous enough in here for you. You're used to being surrounded by some of the most luxurious items on the planet. I'm used to having some very nice cars around me. It is very bright in here, isn't it? It is. It's just so we can see. It's so that the light catches off those diamond earrings you're wearing. Those are... Are they real? Yeah. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> Great. I've actually got a gold chain on, so just for you. Um, so did you actually rock up in a, Lam in a Lamborghini? Yeah, I came in my Lamborghini Urus. It's the 4x4. Oh, it's the, oh, you've got one of those guys. The big 4x4 one. Matte, matte finish? Funny enough, it was um, chrome turquoise, and I've just stripped it. My other Lambo is... My, yeah, it's really my other weird. Lambo. It's if really bad to say that. Every time I have to say my other Lambo. Uh, <laughs> what's it's your other Lambo? A Lamborghini Aventador S. Which one's that? That's the sports car, the doors okay. that go up. Okay, nice. You're really into cars, aren't you? I can tell. Yes. I actually did a TV show called The Classic Car Show, all about classic cars. I, was, I don't know anything about them, though. I was the guy that didn't know anything, you know, and I was kind of learning as I went along. Um, so you clearly are really into cars. How did you get into cars in, the, in, in such a, a massive way? Cars was something that I was really passionate about, and wrapping... So a lot of people don't really know what wrapping is. Wrapping's like a, a clear plastic material that goes over a car and can change the color of the vehicle yeah and when you get bored you can actually take it off so wrapping was if you think back to like the vans where you had like the simpsons or the sky vans on the back that is wrapping but obviously we decided to do it on a whole car and change a color so from white you can go to black yeah or green or purple so if you know like all the chrome gold cars driving around night to bridge is I'm, that yours? I'm responsible for that. Is that your yeah, car? That's my Aventador S, yeah. Wow, it's very similar to mine, actually. What am I doing? Very similar. I don't know. <laughs> you're, exactly. You're showing off, is what you're doing. You've got a very nice car. Um, so wrapping, okay, so wrapping is instead of painting, Correct, basically. Yep. And wh why do people go for that? Is it just because you can change it more often? You can change it more often. You can put it back to the original colour so it doesn't devalue the car. It also protects it. So if someone keys the car or you get stone chips, the wrap protects it. Right. So when you take the wrap off, the paintwork is still lovely underneath. Okay, so it's practical as well as extremely stylish. Yeah, mine's chrome, so mine's a little bit out there. And yeah. Majority of people go like a pearl white or a satin black or a matte black. Right. I'm a little bit out there, as I said. Okay, well, look, if you're watching at home and you do know more about cars than me and have some sensible questions for Yanni, then we'd love to hear them. Uh, just tweet in at Build Series London or put them in the comments on, on Facebook below. Um, so, uh, you discovered that you were really into cars and you realised that you could build a pretty exciting business out of this, um, this wrapping stuff. But it's not just wrapping that you do, right? You do more than just cover the cars. Yeah, so we do, we do customising, so we can do wrapping a car, we can tint the windows, we can paint the wheels, we can put a body kit on the car, we can change the interior, we can put a big sound system in. The biggest project we ever done was uh, One Direction, their tour bus, the Mystery Machine. Oh, wow. We did that. Is that what they called their tour bus, the Mystery Machine? We actually machine. wrapped it in the Mystery Machine colours. Right. Um, and that was, for, that was for Zane and Louis. And they had two Bentley seats in there with their initials in. Um, they had a bench at the back where they could sleep. And they also put, like, the washer jets on the outside of the car. So when they drive around, they had buttons inside. They could squirt people on the road. <laughs> Those little pranksters. But I suppose that was probably for protection because the bus is constantly getting mobbed. And it's a way of getting the fans away, maybe. It's water. It's <laughs> just water. Protection. It's just, yeah, exactly. It's not. It's not at all. Um, so uh, your second series of your show, Yanni Supercar Customi Customizer, airs um, uh, on Dave. And uh, it's kind of like, I guess the easiest way to describe it is it's sort of like an updated version of Pimp My Ride. Or is that, is that totally wrong? And does that annoy you? <laughs> it doesn't annoy me because Pimp My Ride is, is the original, I would say. It's... What you actually get to see is what happens at Yanomize every day. So you'll see a customer turn up. They will tell us what they want done. They will then leave. We will then do the job. They will then come back and take collection of the vehicle. Mm. But things go wrong when we work on the car. And it's all real. So nothing is set up. And when I was, when I was obviously working on the TV show and people were approaching us, they were like, oh, yeah, we'd like it. What am I doing? You're Please stop with these pictures. You've got your legs stuck in the thing. That's is, is that three points? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
the car, no ignition, I'm not driving. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people always said like, um, oh yeah, we, we need a bit of like um, excitement. I'm like, if you film me long enough, things will go wrong. And that's what they did and you'd That see. doesn't sound like the best advert for the company though. But it's real, things yeah. go wrong. It, listen, my staff are humans, they make mistakes. We wrapped, <laughs> it's embarrassing to say, we wrapped on series two an Audi RS5 um, in orange. We wrapped it in the wrong orange and we had to strip the whole car and redo it again. And he spotted it because I put it on my Instagram. Really? So before he even came to collect it? I posted it up. And he sent me a message, Yanni, that looks like the wrong orange. And he's an artist, a very famous artist. And I was like, Can you drop a name? Yeah. Uh, no, you, you might not. His, his name's Paul Oz, but he does all like the Formula One uh, right. stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's yeah, really yeah. cool. And um, I was like, Are you sure, Paul? And he's like, Yeah. When I went and checked, I was like, Oh my God. And the worst thing is, we'd already wrapped two of his cars previously in that orange. So we got it wrong. And a few wow. of staff. And of all the people to get it wrong, it's an artist, the only guy who is going to know the exact shade of orange. Um, so. The show is doing incredibly well. It was actually the most popular show on Dave in 2018. Yeah. Let's have a round of applause for Yanni. That's, that's pretty amazing. Um, should we take a look at, at what people can expect from Series 2? Yeah, I won't be doing that in the show, though. <laughs> Replay. Excellent stuff. I like the way the first one we see is orange. <laughs> totally wrong. Um, so... What kinds of people pass through the shop? Because obviously when you see that and you see cars like that, you often just think, you know, it's footballers, it's rappers. But, you know, who, who's probably like, who is your general client? Or, or is it a big range of people? It's a massive range. So, yes, I've got the celebrities. I've got the high net worth individuals. I've got your first time drivers, your 17 year old that has bought a Corsa. In series two, we've got a young girl called Jolie who we wrapped her Beetle in pink. It was her first car. We had another young guy. Uh, he had a Range Rover. I saw a clip of that. This, this guy comes in with the most ridiculous Range Rover. He can't even drive yet. And he's getting it. But he got a full customization job. He, he went chrome red. He went interior. His dad spent some serious yeah, money. Just so that he could sit in it with no keys <laughs> and just look around it. Very but, strange. But people want to treat their kids. And um, listen, if you can afford to do it, why not? Yeah. And have you found that this kind of uh, thing is, is almost recession proof because it's so specific people love their cars and it's something that people save up for and they make sure that they if they want to spend their money on it they're going to right listen it's not like food or a haircut for example but the client base that i have are never going to worry about spending five or six thousand pound on their car and if if you've got money it's usually property <coughs> cars jewelry mm. and i'm the guy when it comes to the cars so yeah. unfortunately enough they all come to me and I've got a four month wait list. <laughs> yeah, wow, amazing. Um, so we saw David Hay there. What did David have done? What, what kind of car does David drive? So I've done loads of cars with David Hay in the past. Um, he had like an Escalade, a big Jeep, had a Mercedes SL. This time was his Rolls Royce Wraith. And when he originally uh, chose the color, I thought it felt a bit soft for him. Usually he goes like real, like black, dark, mean, angry. And he had it in pearl white and silver. And I was like, really? I found out later it was for his partner, not for him. Right. And he had his son with him as well. Amazing, amazing. Has anybody come in with a car that you've thought you've been surprised by? Maybe a car that doesn't quite match up with, with their public persona? James Buckley from The Inbetweeners. He had an old school mini, like the Italian job. And he wanted to turn it into like a, a new style. So he wanted like digital dashboard, electric windows. It was a four speed and we made it into a five speed. That was something real different. And I love that. That's a big project. It's all good and well changing the color of the car. But when yeah. you do a big customization, we love that here. Yeah. And, and it must be a lot of pressure though, because for these people, these cars are their absolute pride and joy. I saw that you had one guy on who, when his car was with you, he was literally phoning you 20 times a day, like literally 20 times a day, just to make sure his, his little baby was doing okay. Yeah, so that's Aaron. He, he's a big customer of mine. He's got loads of classic cars, but he would ring, honestly, 20 times a day. And even on his way, he's messaging me saying, I'm on my way, I'm coming now, <laughs> car done. And I'm like, Aaron, like, it's cool, it's done. <laughs> no, but is it done? Is it finished? Are you happy? Aaron, it's fine, mate, honestly. Yeah. And, and he's literally like that. It's, it's, it's the truth. He's like that. And have you had people that have arrived and then, no, through no mistake of yours, they've just not liked it and it's... The, the, probably the worst one was, and um, we had a rental company want to wrap their Phantom and they wrapped it in purple. And I remember I was away and the guy rings me and he's like, Yanni, he goes, um, I've seen the picture that you posted. He goes, I don't like the colour. And I'm like, but it's just coming. It's ready for you to pick up. Yeah, strip it and redo it again in another colour. And I'm like, but you haven't even seen it. I don't care. Do it again. So he paid 4,000, 
then he paid 1500 to strip, and then he paid another 4000 to do it again. But you can imagine my staff. They've just spent their yeah. time working on this car. They're pro- and, now, and now it's like, yeah, strip it off, guys. Like, Don't worry about your work. It was, it was yeah. wasted. Oh, no. So, but you, you, your staff are part of why the show is so great because it's the characters that make it. And I think that's kind of one of the differences between this show and maybe Pimp My Ride. Because Pimp My Ride, it was mainly just Tim Westwood sort of saying, yeah, baby, over and over again. Whereas you have real characters and you are it feels like a real kind of family business. You're all probably good mates. My staff are my family and you're only as good as your staff. And um, I've had staff that were like, that's Nico. So I've got Nico and Mark, two Filipino brothers. They're, they're the best on the planet when it comes to rapping. They're, they're mad funny. He's actually been with me the longest. He's been with me, I think, nine years. Wow. Um, and he was a junior. He would clean the toilets. He'd sweep the floor. He'd go and get make tea and coffee. And now he's a senior rapper where he's, he's the yeah. real deal. Amazing. And it's not just new cars that come in, right? You get people coming in with, with classics as well. You mentioned the in-betweeners guy. But somebody came in with a beautiful BMW. I think we've got... Is it a CSL? Let's have a look. White one? Beautiful. That is a, that is a really, really nice car. That's amazing. I do, lo- I do love a classic car. What did you do to it? Nothing. What? So what happened was he said to me he wanted to change the colour, uh, but it's worth a lot more money if you paint that to the original yellow. Um, so he right. painted it to the original yellow, and then we just added the stripes back down the side. But yeah, I didn't get the job on that one. Oh, no. But that's the thing with those classic cars. They appreciate in value. It's like a real growth industry. Um, I've got a a question on social from Matt on Twitter. Hi, Matt. Matt says, I've pimped my car, (laughs) but my mates just say I'm compensating for something. (laughs) What should I say back to them? Okay, I get that a lot with the cars that I drive and the colours that I choose. Um... Everyone's individual. Be you, be happy. It doesn't matter what people think. You don't want to be the norm like everyone else. I like to stand out. And for me, the reason I have bright colored cars is because of what I do for a living. And whether you love or hate my car, you're going to be like, have you seen that guy's car? Who? That guy, Yanni. You're even going to be like, oh, yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, he does yeah. the rapping. Or who? Yanni. What, and then they'll search. So for Matt on Twitter, same thing. It's, just, it's about his personality. And that's the most important thing, anyway. Be you, Matt. Be you, mate. Yeah, exactly. All right, good, good. Um, now, I heard a rumor. You've got a potential client. Uh, well, Con- Conor McGregor, the fighter, wanted you to wrap his private jet. Before the Floyd Mayweather Before, fight. Right. We didn't have enough time to do it. Didn't have enough wrap. It's too big. <laughs> yeah, that as well. Plus, you're obviously, when you're going yeah. in a plane, you're worried it's going to come he off. Won't, they won't get it into the shop. That's the... Was that, was that why you didn't do it? That's good banter, by the way. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, so, so what, you just, you just didn't have time? Too busy. Sorry, Connor. Not quite. He left it so last minute. And obviously, you've got to wrap a plane. To wrap a car can take five to seven days. To wrap a plane is going to take a lot longer. Plus, obviously, we couldn't do it in the unit. We'd have had to travel out. Just, just didn't have enough time. And I was gutted because that, that's, that's a monster. Yeah, but that would have been quite the calling card for you. But yeah. it looks like things are going okay as they are. So what is next for you? What's next for you and the guys and the business? And what kind of car have you got your eye on next? Surely you must update all the time. So next, um, series two, we've got another 10 episodes coming out in April on Dave. Um, and then, who knows? There's a few things we're working on. Um, but for now, yeah, the new series is coming out. And I am going to change my car. And here's an exclusive that no one knows. Here we go. I sold my car today. Today? You sold the Lambo? Someone sent me a deposit today. The colour's still like that, and it's going to go in three weeks. So what are you going to replace it with? Because you've got to be able to say, my other Lambo. I know. I know. Do you know, I'll tell you a very quick story. So Tracker rang me. So Tracker's obviously, if you, your car gets stolen. And they rang me and said, oh, yeah, hi, we've got an alert on your Lambo. And I'm sitting in my office. Did and they like, actually say Lambo? No they, they said, say? no, they said Lambo. <laughs> we've got an alert on your Lambo. And I was yeah, like, so and I was like, which one? <laughs> and my staff all looked at me and they're like, Jan. And I'm like, what, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> yeah. So, yes, it's actually embarrassing. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to buy. Did you get a good price for it, though? Is it, is it crass to ask how much a, a Lambo goes for these days when it's been wrapped like that? No, I'll tell you, that's um, 280000 That went for? Yeah. 280000 280. How much am I getting for um, Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, if I work for the next 5,000 years, I think uh, I'll get one. Um, all right, good, good. And you said, so if I did want to bring a car to get wrapped, it's what, a four-month waiting list? 
I can jump you maybe three and a half Would months. you? All right, fine. So I just need to scrape together 280 grand. No, that's to buy the I'll, car. That's to buy the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Well, I'll bring the Mini Metro and we'll pass it through. Um, listen, Yanni, thank you so much for coming and talking to me. Congratulations on a great show and I can't wait to, wait to see the rest of season two. Please make thank some you noise so much. for our wonderful thank guest. You. The new series of Yanni Supermarket Super Supercar Customizer is on later in the year and you can watch every episode of Series 1 on UK TV Play. All right, I'm going to be back tomorrow with uh, the Derry Girls, but until then, give it up one last time for Yanni, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.